Hi everyone. Our topic for today is solving trigonometric equations. Trigonometric equations are, as the name implies, equations that involve trigonometric functions. Similar in many ways to solving polynomial equations or rational equations, only specific values of the variable will be solutions, if there are solutions at all. Often, we will solve a trigonometric equation over a specified interval. However, just as often, we will be asked to find all possible solutions, and as trigonometric functions are periodic, solutions are repeated within each period. In other words, trigonometric equations may have an infinite number of solutions. Additionally, like rational equations, the domain of the function must be considered before we assume that any solution is valid. The period of both the sine function and the cosine function is 2 pi. In other words, every 2 pi units, the y values repeat. If we need to find all possible solutions, then we must add 2 pi k, where k is an integer to the initial solution. Recall the rule that gives the format for stating all possible solutions for a function where the period is 2 pi. Example, sine theta equals sine of the angle theta plus or minus 2 times k times pi. Let us solve now trigonometric equations. Solving trigonometric equations requires the same techniques as solving algebraic equations. We look for known patterns, factor, find common denominators, and substitute certain expressions with a variable to make solving a more straightforward process. However, with trigonometric equations, we also have the advantage of using the identities. Let's see this example one. Find all possible exact solutions for the equation cosine theta equals one half. From the unit circle, we know that Cosine theta equals 1 half. The theta here equals pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. We have two possible answers. These are the solutions in the interval from 0 up to 2 pi. All possible solutions now are given by theta equals pi over 3 plus or minus 2 times k times pi and theta equals 5 pi over 3 plus or minus 2 times k times pi where this k is an integer. These are the final answers. Example 2, solve the equation exactly. 2 cosine theta minus 3 equals negative 5, where theta is between 0 and 2 pi. Let us use algebraic techniques to solve the equation. We copy this problem down here. Let us isolate this 2 cosine theta. This negative 3 we will transpose to the right 
can combine with a negative 5. So it becomes negative 2. So we have now 2 cosine theta equals negative 2. Let us divide this equation by 2. So the resulting equation now becomes cosine theta equals negative 1. Considering our unit circle, the theta is found to be equal to pi. This is the final answer. Example 3. Solve the problem exactly. 2 sine squared theta minus 1 equals 0 where theta is from 0 to 2 pi. First, we use algebra to isolate sine theta. Then we will find the angles. We copy this problem down here. Let us now transpose this negative 1 to the right side. So we have now 2 sine square theta equals 1. Divide this equation by 2 we will get sine square theta equals one half. Let us square both sides. So we have here now the square root of sine square theta equals plus or minus the square root of one half. On the left side, we can cancel this radical and the power two. So we have sine theta on the left equals plus or minus this expression can be simplified into 1 over square root of 2. If you rationalize the denominator, this will now be plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. Considering the unit circle, we will find that theta equals these four values. We have pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. These are the final answers. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.